Okay, so after our five hour trip and all of our classes, we're still taking them every day by the way, like for five hours, it's awesome, just like usual. This is the view out of my dorm room window. Let me see if I can actually get a full on, no, my bed's in the way. This is the view out of my dormitory window. It's amazing. This is uh, Dongguk University, Guangjiang. I'm butchering the pronunciation, I'm sorry. Uh, Korea for the talk program. There's a bit of university. I think that's uh, more dorm rooms and on the left and I think either more dorm rooms or, or teachers rooms. I think those are teachers rooms perhaps on the right but I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong a lot. Um, let's see, let me pan over here slowly or here, better yet. Let's just scoot back a little bit if I can do so without falling. Um, wow, I can't really see it. Um, these are the desks. That one's not very tidy. It's where I keep my extra stuff. And that is where I have my computer stuff and do all my learning. Um, I haven't made my bed yet, so you'll have to excuse me. That's one bed. It's got shelves underneath it. Uh, we haven't found any dryers anywhere we've been yet, so one thing you'll notice is uh, these handy drying racks that have been in every room so far. They're pretty cool, they really work, and let me turn around so I can get a shot. This room actually comes equipped with a really nice fan so that you can aim the fan at the clothes and dry them quicker. That works better than the other dorm room. Uh, you know, it's got a fan. Uh, it's got like a place where I can hang my outfit of the day to get the wrinkles down. And there's some irons downstairs. Um, there's the floor. I don't know if you can tell, but you actually have to step down uh, to get in. That's where you take your shoes off, and then you step up. Uh, the doors are automatically lock locking. Um, on the other side, I'll show you the other side in a minute. But you actually have to uh, put a code in, like a locker. Uh, these are the cabinets. Oh, big cabinets. Lots of cabinets, lots of room to put my stuff. And then there's the bathroom. Now, it does have a shower. Let's see if I can get this. There's actually a lip and the floor is sunk down. Um, I'd say like maybe three to four inches. But there's the bathroom, and the interesting thing about this bathroom is, let me get in here, it's got a nice shelf here, this is really a great dorm room, you know, the toilet paper, bum han, I, I find that funny for some reason. The really interesting thing is, there's the sink, let me see if I can get in the corner, and uh, attached to the sink is the shower head. So this is actually not just a bathroom, it's a shower stall. Um, you'll notice that, let's see if I can get down here and take a picture of it. If I can find it, there it is. Um, the floor on this side is actually sunk in. Oh, hard to get a good picture. It's actually sunk in um, right here. So all the water from the shower uh, goes down to that little area and then over to the drain where the sink and the shower drains and it actually drains pretty quickly and the floor dries pretty fast so there's no problems and what about electrical cords well here you go they have them nice and covered um, so they don't get wet and yucky and I think the toilet paper, uh, I think that's supposed to be a toilet paper cover as well. I'm not sure how effective it is, but, you know, I've not gotten mine wet, but I've been careful. So that's it for the dorm room. I'm going to take a break now, get ready. We're going to be eating breakfast in about an hour. So 
off to the schools later. We'll see what I can accomplish as far as videos there. From Gwangju, Korea, signing out.